Hello dear students, expecting your well by the grace of Almighty. Today we are again, we are again to discuss about transformation of sentence, especially in the area of simple complex and compound. And uh, actually I just want to recap the last class because uh, today I just want to finish the class of simple complex compound. So I want to recap the last class. In the last class, we learned about the criteria and the main characteristics of simple complex compound sentence. Actually, according to structure, we can uh, classify sentence into three groups, simple, complex and compound. It based on what? These three, these three things are very important. These three things are very important for making a sentence. Uh, Subject, finite verb, clause. If you want to make simple complex compound sentence, of course, we need subject, finite verb, and clause. And for a simple sentence, we need a subject and a finite verb. Actually, you know very well, what is finite verb? Finite verb indicates the completeness of thought and subject actually performs the action. So if you get these two things at the same time, a single subject, a single final verb, you can say that it is a simple sentence. For making a complex and compound sentence, you need clause. And what is clause? I told you the last class. Actually, clause is a part of a sentence having a subject and a final verb. And for making a complex sentence, you need a single subordinate clause and a single principal clause or main clause. For making a compound sentence, of course, you need clauses and the clauses will be independent clauses and connected with coordinating conjunction. And these are the criteria of simple, complex and compound sentence. In the last class, we actually learned about transforming from simple to complex, complex to simple. Today, I would like to uh, focus on changing from compound to complex, complex to compound, these two areas. Actually, in these two sentences, you will get uh, clauses and connection with some conjunctions. Actually, in complex sentence, you will get the conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions, and in compound sentence, you will get coordinating conjunction. And actually, in, in these two, by using these two conjunctions, you can make complex sentence and you can make compound sentence. So, it is a very common thing. What is that? If you want to make a complex sentence, of course, you have to use a subordinating conjunction and of course, you have to ensure there will be a clause, that clause will be a dependent clause uh, or subordinate clause and of course, a main clause. And for making a compound sentence, of course, you have to ensure uh, the clauses will be independent clauses uh, or main clauses connected with coordinating conjunction. In this way, you can transform, you can uh, make complex or compound sentences. In the last class, my dear students, I told you, I emphasized on the utility of these three types of sentences. If you want to develop your uh, speaking skill, if you want to develop your uh, writing skill, of course, you have to develop the concept of simple, complex and compound sentences. So it is not only for the, uh, it is not only for, uh, it is not only the importance of uh, for appearing at the examination, but in your daily life, of course, you have to make a, um, a good command over simple, complex and compound sentences. So today, I would like to uh, focus you on the changing from complex to compound and complex, uh, compound to complex. Uh, complex to compound, just think. Actually, either complex or compound, you have to ensure two parts at least in a sentence and you know, you have to ensure two parts, that means two clauses, one is subordinate, another is principal for making a complex sentence. If you say like this, when I went there 
just think this is a subordinate part here you are getting when as a subordinating conjunction and here is a subject and finite verb but the part is not completed it does not ensure completed thought so it is a dependable part that means it is a dependable clause and the completeness depends on the main thought main clause what is that when I went there I found him yes I found him this is a subject this is finite verb and in this way the sentence is formed and the part ensures the completeness and the part ensures the independence so this part does not depend on this part but this part depends on this part so you are getting one independent part one dependent part and in this way you are making a complex sentence and this complex sentence is ensured by especially this part or this subordinate clause suppose right now you just want to transform this sentence into compound sentence if you want to make it compound sentence of course you have to ensure the independent parts that means of course you have to make this dependent part independent and you are getting an independent part here already so only your focus will be here that means you have to make this dependent part independent how just think in this way I went there if you say I went there this part will be independent that means you have to deduct you have to deduct this one when this conjunction how many conjunctions are in complex sentences used lots of as since though although because when who is what that so that so dot dot that that's that's a uh, uh, in this way you can use these conjunctions uh, to make the part independent uh, dependent so this type of conjunctions always paralyzes the part and makes the part subordinate. We will just remove, we will just deduct the word when. So this is completely independent. So already you have got these two independent parts at the same time. I went there, I found him. And right now he will add this part by using coordinating conjunction. Actually what are the coordinating conjunctions? and but or like this and of course you have to use the conjunctions according to the meaning between the two parts right you know you are getting these two parts but you are not getting any condition or any other meaning just it is connected here you can use and I went there and I found him so this and this coordinating conjunction ensures the compound sentence in a compound sentence there is a rule what is the rule you need not to repeat the same subject you need not to repeat the same subject here you are getting the subject I and here you are getting the same subject up. so you need not to repeat the same subject you can write down here in this way I went there and found him I went there and found him because actually you are getting the same subject repeated here so the second subject you need not to write down but one thing is very important suppose in the two parts you are getting the same subject but in the second uh, part you are getting some auxiliary verbs which are completely absent in the first part at that time you should write down the second subject though the subjects are same how if I say in this way I went there I could not find him here you are getting could not a model algebra used here the subjects are same but you are getting an auxiliary 
which is absent, absent in the first part which is absent in the first part so in this uh, in, 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 in this field or in this area uh, you can uh, use you can repeat the second subject I went there and I could not find him that means when the subject will be same but the structure of the sub sentences will be different at that time you can repeat the second subject so dear students I actually showed you the last class uh, a diagram if you follow the diagram you can easily change the sentences very uh, very normal very normally and you know uh, don't feel scared it is very easy to transform from compound to complex and compound compound complex to compound why both in complex and compound sentences you are getting two parts and two parts means two clauses and you know both in complex sentence and in compound sentence you have to use two parts or two clauses what is the difference in complex sentence you are getting an dependent clause or dependent clause and independent clause and in compound sentence you are getting two independent or principal clauses so what will you do it is very easy that means in compound sentence if I ask you to make a compound sentence from complex what will you do actually you have already got the two parts only your duty is to make the independent uh, dependent part independent that means you will transform the independent dependent part into independent that means you have to avoid the subordinating conjunction like as since though all the who is what that like that you have to avoid these things and you have to add these two principal clauses by using coordinating conjunction and but or in this way for your betterment for your betterment i am drawing the same diagram again If you just follow the diagram, it is very easy. And that means if the sentences is made by using and you can transform it to complex by using as since when so that so dot dot that just in this way you can make complex sentence and simple sentence by using participle that means in most of the cases because of ing 2 plus bar in this way you can make simple sentence actually it, it varies you know as since denotes reason so because of denotes reason if the sentence is made by as and since of course you have to make it simple by using because of so that's so dot dot that it is a distinctive uh, structure if you follow if you get this one of course you have to uh, make the simple sentence if you get so that of course you have to use two plus verb if you get so dot dot that of course you have to make that sentence into simple in this way two dot dot two like this and you know but if you get any compound sentence by using but of course you have to make the complex sentence in this way by using though although and of course the simple sentence will be in this way in spite of or despite in this way you can make this one simple so this is very fundamental rules the structure of course you have to follow if you get any compound sentence by using but of course you have to make that compound sentence to complex by using though or although and in, for the, in the case of simple of course you have to use in spite of or despite just Memorize these things and it is very easy 
to transform if you follow the structure. And mostly, in the, the, this is the common thing, and the different thing is that for making imperative sentence, sometimes we get the imperative sentence is used by using and. And denotes affirmative sense. And denotes affirmative sense. And like this, do and die. Here, and indicates affirmative sense. For that reason, if you want to make complex sentence from and, in the case of affirmative, in the case of imperative sentence, you will use like this, if plus present plus future. This structure is very common, but sometimes tense varies. Sometimes tense varies. E plus present plus future. This is structure we have learned from the very early stages of our learning. So it is uh, very easy to, for you to memorize in this way. What you have to make, just look, do, die. You do not get any subject here. The subject is omit. The subject is silent. But there is a subject, you know, in imperative sentence, of course, you will get the, uh, you, will go, you will not get any prominent subject in the sentence. The subject always silent. But if you want to make complex sentence, of course, in complex sentence, you have to, you have to write the sentences in full. So, what will be here? If the subject is you, that means in imperative sentence, uh, normally, in imperative sentence, the subject always remains you. So, if you do... you will die. Just think, if you do, if plus present plus future, future means you have to make a sentence in future tense, you will die. And if in the case of affirmative sentence, of course, you have to make that one into simple by using by plus ing. By plus ing. That means, of course, you will use by plus ing in the case of Dependent clause, that means subordinate clause, you have to, uh, and it is very common for making simple sentence, of course, you will touch the subordinate conjunction by plus ing, by plus ing, and, 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 and that means you will use by plus ing, and by using this by plus ing, you are making a clause into a phrase, that means which part will you take? Of course, the independent part, if you do. So, by doing, you will die. And in the case of negative form, in negative sense, or, or denotes negative sense, or denotes negative sentence. If we make a negative sentence in the imperative sentence, what will we Fine, do or die. In the case of negative sentence, of course, you have to use negative. In complex sentence, what will you do? If you do not do. Here, one thing is important, my dear students. We are using do not. But we are not using not. Why? The important thing is that if you want to make any negative sense, of course, you have to use an auxiliary verb. Without using auxiliary verb, you will not, you will not be able to make a complete negative sentence. That means the sense you have to use here uh, an auxiliary verb. Do is present tense. For that reason, we have taken do not. If we do not do and the main clause will, will remain same, you will die. In this way, in the case of simple, of course, you have to use without. That means, by indicates affirmative sense, without indicates negative sense. So, you will use without. Without doing, and the main clause will remain same, you will die. The main clause remain same in this way and you can transform compound to complex compound to complex compound and this diagram is very easy dear students 
and actually don't think that that's all. Don't think that that's all. If you want to develop a good command over simple compound, complex compound, of course you have to develop the sense of meaning without getting the sense of meaning. To some extent, it will be very tough for you to change the sentences because of course structure or some rules uh, play an important role for grammar but sense is very important. Sometimes your rules or structure will not cover the whole area. At that time, of course, you will uh, have to depend on the meaning of the sentence. For, for that reason, sentences, uh, the meaning is very important. There are lots of sentences which will not be covered by following these rules only. So you have to find out the sentences. Right now, we can uh, see some examples. We can see some examples. In the screen. Here, you are getting some examples. If you do not move, you will die. What will the compound? Of course. You have to be deductive, you, why? In compound sentence, we will not here write down the sentences in full. Move, actually here, in the imperative sense, move completes the whole area or completes the, complete, uh, the completed thought. So move indicates the full sentences, move or you will die. Why we are using or? Because we are getting the negative sense if you do not move. So we are using or. And you know, just notice here, uh, here you will die this is the main clause so you are not changing the part because the main clause or the principal clause will not be changed in any respect you have to untouch the, comp uh, the main or principal clause so if you do not move in this sector you are changing the sentence and you are making the part independent for making compound sentence and the next one, though he is rich, he is unhappy. I told you, he is unhappy here is independent clause. Why? Because this part indicates completed thought. But though he is rich, here of course you are getting subject he and find verb is, but the sense is not completed. Why? Because though is used here for making the part paralyzed or dependent on the main clause. For that reason, though he is rich, is dependent clause. That means if you want to change the sentence into compound or simple, of course, you will touch the part. That means though makes the part dependent, for that reason, you will avoid, you will detect the part, the word, the conjunction though. And what will you do? You will add these two parts by making independent uh, with, by using coordinating conjunction. He is rich, he is unhappy. These two parts are completely independent and you have to add these two parts by using a meaningful coordinating conjunction. I, so I show you in the diagram that means if you get though, of course you have to use part in, the, in, in respect of making compound sentence. Here he is rich but he is unhappy. I have used a bracket Within the bracket, I have used he is. Why? My dear student, just follow. These two parts, one thing is very common. What is that? He is, he is. I told you, in compound sentence, you will, of course, avoid the common thing. That means if the subject is common, if the verb is common, you can avoid this one. So he is rich, but unhappy. This will cover in the area of compound sentence. And the next one, if you do not study hard, you will fail. It is same as the first one, if you do not move. So, study hard. You will avoid if you do not. Study hard. And the final and the main clause will remain same. Study hard or fail. Here, you can use you will fail. It is also right. It is also correct. Or you can use fail. When we went to his office, we found him absent. Just follow one thing. When we went to office, we found him absent. 
here you are getting two parts. When we went to office, this part is completely dependent on we found him absent this part. And here that means we are getting a principal clause in the last one, we found him absent. You will not change this part. Only you will turn this part into independent part when we went to his office. That means this when makes the part dependent. You will just deduct the conjunction. What is that? When. If you just avoid when, the part will remain. In this, remain. We went to his office. That means this part becomes independent. So you are getting two independent parts. We went to office. We found him absent. What will you do? You will add this two independent part by using coordinating conjunction. As there is no condition here, no imperative sense, you can use and. That means we went to his office and we found him absent. And next, I just follow other some other examples. As he weak, as he was weak, he could not walk fast. You are getting two parts at the same time. The last one is independent. The first one is dependent, and as makes the part dependent. He will just avoid as he was weak. That means this part becomes independent. Uh, independent, yes. He was weak. And the rest of the part was independent also. That means he will add these two parts by using a coordinating conjunction. The news is so good that it cannot be true. Here, you are getting a different structure. The news is so good and it cannot be true. Just fine. It cannot be true. This part is independent. The news is so good that only you have to make this part independent. How will you make this part independent? Just notice. So. So indicates the exaggeration. So indicates something huge enough. That means we can replace the conjunction by using very enough much in this way. So the news is very good. The news is very good. That means you are replacing the word so to very. That means the news is very good. This part becomes independent. And of course you have to replace the conjunction that into an. That means the news is very good and it cannot be true. That means you are not touching the independent, independent part. It cannot be true. In this way you can make the complex sentence into compound. And next one, he studied hard so that he could pass. Here, my dear students, just follow. He studied hard. This part is independent. He could pass. This part is also independent. So if you say he studied hard and he could pass. If you write down in this way, the sentence will not cover the meaning. Because you are getting a purpose. You are getting a purpose. What is that? He is studying hard. Why? For passing. That means there is a purpose here. That means here is a desire. For that reason, you have to use a verb. Want, wanted, according to tense, desire in this way. So, you have to use here. Want, wanted, according to tense here. So if you get so that for making compound sentence, of course you have to use a desiring word. That means he studied hard and he wanted. He wanted to pass. Why we write down here wanted? It is very easy. He found the given sentence was in past tense, so we are using wanted. She has a she has a passion that she is alone. She has a passion that she is alone. Here you are getting a very easy, very normal sentence and you are getting very easily two parts very easily. She has a passion. This is a part which is completely independent. She is alone. This is completely independent. You will just avoid this one that. If you use here a quadrantic conjunction that is an you can easily transform it into complex to compound. That means she is a 
she has a passion and she is alone in this way. The police arrived and the crowd depressed. Dear student, there is a mistake here. Actually, the sentence is compound and the complex sentence is the below you are finding here. So just think this complex, this is wrong here. This complex, the word will be changed. This is compound sentence. The police arrived and the crowd depressed. This is compound. And here you are getting uh, time. You are getting time. So you can transform it into complex very easily. How? As soon as, as soon as indicates time, when also indicates time. So you can use both when or as well as, as, as soon as. So if you want to make it complex, of course you can use here. When the police arrived, the crowd dispersed or you can use as soon as the police arrived, the crowd dispersed. Actually, we are going to finish the class today. Before finishing the class, dear student, I, do, I just want to focus you one thing. Before finishing the class, I just want to focus one thing. What is that? Actually, if you want to make any complex sentence or simple sentence or compound sentence, of course you have to follow the structure. Because actually simple complex compound based on structure. For making simple sentence, you have to ensure whether you are using a single subject or single finite verb. Don't think that simple sentence will be a short in size sentence. No. Actually, size never ensures the sentence, whether it is simple, complex or compound. You have to ensure whether it has a single subject, it has a single finite verb. The sentence may be long by using many phrases. By using many phrases. So, don't think that short sentence will be simple sentence. No. Simple sentence will ensure a one subject, one finite verb. And complex sentence ensure two parts. Complex sentence ensures two parts. One part, is one part uh, you will get a subordinate clause and in another part you will find a main part, main clause, principal clause. That means, and all the clauses, of course, if you want to write down a clause, of course in a clause you have to again ensure a single finite verb, a single subject. That means in complex sentence you will get two parts, in both in two parts you will get single subject, single finite verb, but one part will be called principal clause and one part will be called subordinate clause. Subordinate clause will be ensured by using subordinate conjunctions like as, since, though, although, who, which, what, that, like that. And the main clause will not be dependent, will not be dependent by making, by using any conjunctions like as, like any, uh, like as, since, though, although, in this way. And for making compound sentence, for making compound sentence, of course, you have to ensure two parts. And of course, the two parts, both the two parts will be independent. That means it will bear, it will ensure the clear, complete thought. If it does not uh, ensures the complete thought independently, it will not be a main clause. That means in compound sentence, you will get two main clauses at least for making the clearness or completeness of a compound sentence. And you have to exercise on this field and the next class, in the next class we will focus in the different area, uh, in the um, area of uh, transformation. And dear students, at the last phase of this class, I want to remind you again, I told you the last class, you know, uh, we are blessed by all the Almighty. We are blessed by the Almighty in many respects. But do you know, here you are getting the most important blessings, which one? Time. Time is the most important blessings in the world given by the Almighty. So if you use it properly, you will get the feedback, you will get the reward. If you want to be rewarded, you have to use the time properly. And I believe, I hope, my dear students, 
we really believe you, I miss you, I miss you all. I miss you all, it is very tough to be here that for a long days I did not see the good faces, my students' smiley faces, I missed it very, very much. But here, we are actually what you do, we are with us, we have to have passions, we have to stay at home, we have to ensure our safety, our family safety, for that reason we have to stay home, because the whole world, the whole world is suffering, the whole world is really passing a very intolerable time, so we have to follow this one, you have to stay at home, and always think that time is the most important blessing of the Almighty, you have to use it properly, so don't pass the time idly, don't pass the time intolerably. Please use the time properly and practice as much as possible. If you fail to understand any topic, please contact with us. We will try to help you as much as possible. My dear students, please stay blessed, stay safe, and of course, have faith on Allah. We will overcome the situation very soon. Thank you, my dear students. Thank you very much.